So one of Buffett's famous quotes is the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. So what's the relevance of this quote as it pertains to this video? Well, in recent months, Buffett has been buying Occidental petroleum stock, handle with fist, um, to the tune that he owns now 211 million shares. He didn't buy that for the roughly $1 billion in dividends that's coming his way this year. He also owns 167 million shares of Chevron that he started accumulating in the fourth quarter of 2020. Now what's interesting is that ExxonMobil made news this week that they may be buying Pioneer Resource which is one if not the largest um, exploration gas and oil companies in the US. If they do that, well then Chevron's going to make a move just to keep up. But Buffett said that recently, you know, the global energy supply chain is broken. And past three years, due to the pandemic, um, oil and gas companies have not been putting any capital to new discoveries, right? Because we're in this uh, green movement and want to give that money back to shareholders. So as a result, the industry is underinvested. And when you start a new project, it takes years for that project to come online. We also have the Russia-Ukraine issue. Now, Russia supplies roughly 20% of all global commodities. And oil is up there, too. Buffett also believes that demand for oil is only going to go up this decade. Those are the reasons why he's been buying Occidental and also owns Chevron. So let's go to the charts to see what things look like. So if we go to Occidental, Occidental is come actually coming off of the monthly buyer zone at 54.50. We'll go down to a smaller chart, but before we do, let's pick a monthly seller's zone and I like this zone up here, right? You had a rally in price, some basing, and then a, a drop, but this was the origin of the huge drop down. So we know that there are monthly sellers at the $84 level. $84 level. All right. Going to go straight down to the weekly. We can see that on the weekly chart, price was in a down channel. Again, hit the monthly buyer zone and has bounced ten dollars again Buffett was buying on the way down so he's got to be at a minimum break even on his purchases all right let's go down to the daily now price just formed a daily buyer zone which would also be a retest of this downtrend line which makes sense we'll just say daily buyers at 
$162. All right, so pull back would be an opportunity to go long. First target being the monthly seller zone at $84. All right, the other stock that he owns in the energy space is Chevron. CVX, I believe. All right, I'm going to zoom out first. So I'm not sure when I mark this chart up probably in the last couple of months uh, but I was expecting price to come down to uh, 145 it hit 150 and then bounced back let's go down to the weekly chart now on the way down I was expecting price to bounce back to the daily sellers zone at 172.50 before moving down to the short term target at 145 price is now back in that zone now what's happened since then well fundamentals have shifted we had a OPEC cut in supply along with its uh, other crony type countries we still have China that needs to reopen and yes if the recession hits, there will be less demand for oil. However, fundamentals suggest price is going higher and could go higher this year. Um, so we might get a, sh a little reaction off this level, but I anticipate this level being breached as Chevron continues to move higher to retest time highs at 188 so what's the lesson of this video the market transfers money from the inpatient to the patient thanks for watching subscribe please like the video